Hi, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. I actually didn't even plan on vlogging this weekend just because it is a busy weekend for me personally. I have a video to film for a brand or with a brand which is really exciting and then I have to edit it, send it to them all by Monday and it's Saturday and I also have to pack because I go to Nashville next week. So just quite a bit of things to do with YouTube and with just packing for a trip, getting ready for a trip. But I've been trying to open this container for the whole duration of the beginning of this vlog because I wanna try it. I got sent some coffee concentrate from Javi, I think that's how you say it. It's a microdose coffee concentrate. There's 30 servings in a bottle. I've actually never tried a coffee concentrate ever, and I'm kind of interested in it. You guys know if you watch my YouTube videos that I have the Breville espresso machine, and the one con that I have with the machine is that I can't make just a regular cup of coffee. The closest thing I can make is an Americano. So, if this is good, this might be something that I can do when I just want some coffee. I'm just struggling the whole time. So, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna make an iced coffee and then I'm gonna film that video. I can tell you what the video is because it will already be posted on my channel, but it's with Caraway Home and I'm currently using their pans. And I got sent a set of four pans by them and currently i i love them so i'm filming a video an unboxing video and just an overview of my first impression my thoughts on the brand my thoughts on the pans and stuff like that so i will link that video down below it will already be up and yeah so i'm excited to film that video because I have a ton of good things to say about them. And I also have a coupon code, so I can also link the coupon code down below and it'll get you 10% off the pan set and maybe other things on their site. I'd have to look into it, but I'll leave the information down below so you guys can check it out as well. Why is this so hard to get off? Okay. Also, I did a little bit of research on this Javi coffee concentrate, and they have flavors of the coffee concentrate, but I just got the, I guess, original. One to two teaspoons of microdose and mix it with your favorite liquid. So, I'm gonna put ice in it. It also came with two metal straws that are gold, so. And then it also came with a cleaner. I don't know if this is a set on their site or not, but I'm sure you could buy this little kit too. This is what I'm gonna put in the coffee. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite Nut Pods flavor. It's the coffee cake flavor. I'll link it down below. I get it off Amazon. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon because I already had a cup of coffee today and I don't know how strong this is, and I can always add more. Oh, it's good. Should I add another teaspoon? Maybe I'll add like half. Ooh. Okay, I think it's really good. I wanna try their caramel one. I know that they have a mocha flavor as well. So I'll link this down below just in case you guys wanna try it. This is gonna be perfect for days where I just want like a cup of coffee and not a latte or a shot of espresso. So I'm going to cook breakfast, film this video, and then I will talk to you guys later today when i am done with all that so i just wrapped up 
filming the video with Caraway Home. So I'll link that video down below. I'm super excited about it. I need to start editing it, upload the footage, stuff like that, see how it turned out. Hopefully I don't have to film it again or anything like that. Um, I also get really nervous that I leave certain information out that's really important. So I hope I didn't leave anything out. I think I covered everything that I needed to cover or wanted to cover. So I'm super excited, you guys. Definitely check out that video if you're interested in investing in your cookware, which I highly recommend. But anyways, I need to put away this stuff, upload the footage, look through it briefly, maybe start editing it. Christian is down at the pool. I asked him to go down to the pool just so I could vlog in or film that video in peace. I didn't want him playing his video game because he can, if you guys know, he can yell during his video game if he dies or anything happens. And I didn't want that in the background. And I also didn't want him sitting on the couch staring at me. So <laughs> yeah, so he went down to the pool. It's really nice weather out. I honestly don't match the weather in Florida. It's in the 80s, but yeah, I just put this on after I got out of the shower this morning. So, but yeah. I hope this vlog isn't too chaotic. I really didn't plan on vlogging at all this weekend, so I really hope it's not chaotic or anything. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna put this stuff away, do all the things that I mentioned, and I don't know, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello. It is like a lot later in the day. It's almost six o'clock, and I filmed, edited, uploaded, submitted that video for Caraway all in the past few hours. So I just love being a productive <laughs> because I just feel so accomplished right now and it feels really, really good. The video isn't public, I just uploaded it so I could send them the link to the video so that way they could watch it. Let me know if I need to change anything or add anything. I feel like I did a really good job filming and editing it, so I'm really proud of it. So, yeah. But right now I'm going to my dad's house. I'm going to borrow his suitcases for my trip to Nashville. So I'm gonna go pick those up so that way I have them for tomorrow so I can just start packing. So I'm really glad I started vlogging today because, I mean, I picked up the camera not really knowing how long it would take me to film and edit that video and stuff like that. So I didn't wanna be too overwhelmed. But I got it done. I got it done. And I'm just proud, so. Just got back in the car. And we're going to get Blaze Pizza. And I feel like we just got Blaze Pizza like two weekends ago and I have actually been I have been dairy free for this is the third day I know you can't really s say anything or base it upon only a few days but I have not had a stomach ache in three days and for me that's just it's not normal for me to go three days without having a stomach ache I have normalized having some type of stomach ache for years every single day I had a stomach ache and I don't know I just decided one day to just cut out dairy to see what would happen and it's only day three but I feel really really good I don't know what even prompted me to cut it out maybe I just wanted to try try it and cut it out so so far I haven't had a stomach ache so <laughs> that motivates you to cut something out to see if it affects you in a certain way, I would go ahead and do it. Because if this is how it feels to, like I asked Christian one day, I was like, do you ever have a stomach ache at the end of the day? And he was like, no, very rarely. And I was like, I wonder what that feels like to not have a stomach ache at the end of the day. Just don't want to normalize anymore having a stomach ache every single day it's not fun it's not comfortable and if cutting out dairy gets rid of my stomach aches then i'm gonna hope for the best and see if it works that's my little story time uh, cut out dairy and they have vegan cheese at blaze so i'm just gonna get vegan cheese on the pizza and i can still have pizza so i guess that's the good thing about 
being able to cut things out is there's always an alternative. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthy, but at least you can still enjoy certain foods with a swap. So that's what we're doing. We're going to get pizza and I'll let you know if it's good. right now I am going to get some acetone and nail polish remover and wait that's the same thing I'm going to get acetone nail polish and some press-on nails I th I'm gonna just give myself a pedicure and do press-on nails for the trip one of my goals this year is to save money and even if you have and I think like the true part of like becoming an adult and like wanting to save for things and wanting to save for your future is realizing like even though you may have money for something it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go do it so I completely agree that every once in a while you definitely deserve something that you want and that you're working towards or something like that but I think kind of taking two things that you may want and then being like okay but I want this more so I'm not gonna spend money on it even though I can spend money on both is just what I'm trying to do this year I'm trying to save more money be a lot smarter with my money so what I've come to realize is that when I travel to Nashville, it's the first time I'm going to Nashville and I obviously want a Nashville crew neck. I'm just obsessed with places that I travel to. I always want to get a Nashville or a place that I travel to crew neck. So I'd rather have a crew neck than get my nails done. Like if I wanna treat myself to something that I want, then I wanna take away something or not necessarily do 
something else. So I'm just trying to focus more on things that I need this year and not necessarily spending money on like a lot of things that I don't necessarily need, but yeah, that I want. But it's important to treat yourself. I don't know where I was going with this, but I'm not gonna go get my nails done. I'd rather have that money to spend on the trip or spend on a crew neck or, you know, spend or save and spend later on. I don't know. I'd rather just have that money to, I don't need to justify why I'm going to get nail polish, but anyways. So yeah, so I'm going there and then I also need to run to Sephora later today and I need to get my cleansing balm that's like 10 bucks and it's so good and it's one of my favorites and they sell it at Sephora so yeah and I still need to pack I haven't packed yet <laughs> it's, it's 1 30 and I go back to work tomorrow but I only work three days this week and I took Thursday off even though our flight is not until Thursday night I just wanted like a day I wanted a day I deserved a day so I took the day so we're going to Ulta, gonna get nail polish. I don't know what color I'm gonna get. I don't know what color I'm feeling. So, let's do this. Okay, I just got home from Ulta. This is the nail set that I ended up going with. I have actually never tried press on nails before. So I'm excited to try these. Just got the natural ones. This is the color that I got for my toes. This is my absolute favorite color. It's royal blue. I also love this green color, but royal blue is my favorite color, has always been my favorite color. So I got that and it's gel. It's the Ulta Beauty brand gel. So I got the top coat as well. And then I got gel polish remover. I get gel on my toes so that way they don't chip. So I got this, it's really small. So I'm gonna use that to try and get off the gel that I currently have on my toes and see how it works. And I also got this little buffer thing because I don't have one, but I do have the other nail stuff. So that's what I got from Ulta. It's a lot later, I painted my toes. Can't look at them for too long or too close because then you can see all of the imperfections with them anyways besides the point i'm about to begin packing but i picked up some alani news we went to target christian and i after i came back from ulta and celsius is making me break out and i don't even know how to describe it when i say break out i mean like acne that i have not had since before i went on accutane and it kind of is giving me like a little bit of like PTSD in a way. If you guys don't know, I have a video on it from the beginning of YouTube for me and it basically just talks about me being on Accutane and everything. So yeah, I tried to stick it out, but I think just the amount of biotin that's in the Celsius drinks is just too much and I don't think my skin reacts well to biotin, but the zits that I was getting were just deep and big so anyways I just couldn't I can't stick it out anymore and can't do it I love Celsius I love the taste of them but I just can't I'd rather have clear skin than have something that helps me get through a workout at night so I'm hoping that these Alani news they only have 30 30 milligram oh wait micrograms the other one had 300 and this one has 30. I think it's micrograms, but anyways, that's the story. Have you guys reacted? If you guys drink Celsius or have drank in Celsius in the past, did you guys break out from it like me? Let me know in the comments. These are the flavors that I got. I've tried the Witch's Brew. It's so good. I'm not kidding. It literally tastes like a caramel apple. It's like the beginning is apple-y and the end is caramel. I just, I can't describe it. It's so good. And then I got this Breezeberry one. Haven't tried this one. And then I got this Berry Pop one that's with Addison Rae. It's like a collab. So I'm going to try drinking these and see what happens. I still have four Celsiuses left in the fridge. That will probably sit in there and rot because I just don't want to drink them. So ignore this huge box from my 
pans that I have to take to the dump. But I've started the packing process, basically opened my suitcase <laughs> and maybe took out a few clothes. I started typing up a little list and yeah. So I guess I'm gonna start packing. I need to start trying on outfits and putting together some outfits so that way I don't overpack, but I guess let's do this. We made a ton of progress on packing. I don't think I overpacked at all and I'm basically done except for my toiletries and stuff like that. So I put together all of my outfits for each day, my PJs, just some extra outfits <laughs> just, just in case I have like one extra outfit and then one extra jacket just to just in case it's not that cold or I want something to wear during the day that's a little bit lighter of a jacket as opposed to like a heavier jacket. So, made some progress. I'm very excited. So, ooh, I'm washing the bed sheets. I have to flip the, them in the dryer. I just finished eating my Chipotle that I picked up for dinner. I am probably gonna put together a little bit more things for my suitcase and I'll show you guys the progress that I've made. But I'm actually super embarrassed because I got this about maybe over a month ago when I went to Whole Foods and did a haul on YouTube. I got this Flow collagen infused water in the blood orange flavor and I haven't even tried it yet. But I'm also scared to like things like this because they're expensive. So that's the only con, but I wanna try it and let you guys know. Cause it has collagen, it has 10 grams of collagen protein. I don't know why I expected it to be orange. Oh, it smells like medicine. This is not it. Maybe I just need to try a new flavor, but the blood orange flavor, it smells like medicine and tastes, I literally, it smells like medicine. It's so strange. I'm going to drink it because it's water and it has collagen in it, but I'm not purchasing it again. At least not in this flavor. Let me show you the progress that I've made. I need to take my shoes off. Here is the progress that I have made. This is going to be all of my outfits and PJs. This is my first day outfit. And then I think I'm going to put the big coats in here with the shoes. I don't know. We'll see how much the suitcase weighs. Um, and then I have day two outfit, day three outfit, PJs in here, just an extra crew neck and extra sweatpants, just like a comfy outfit. I'm going to put leggings with that, but I have the leggings drying right now. So just that and then like an extra little tank to wear under this and then my airport outfit home. And yeah, this is the progress. I'm going to put together a few more things shower get ready for bed and then relax for the rest of the night because i have work tomorrow i'm really happy for a chill night so this is the progress just wanted to share Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. I'm going to upload the footage from my camera onto my computer so that way I have the footage to start editing this video tomorrow on my lunch break. But I'm going to lay in bed, wash my bed sheets, and there's nothing better than ending a week and starting a new week with clean bed sheets. It's literally the best feeling. So I'm super excited to get into bed 
I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, relax for the rest of the night. It's only 8.30, so I have a little bit before I want to head to bed. I hope this video wasn't too chaotic or all over the place in the beginning, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed because my next video will be the Nashville vlog, which I'm super excited about and I can't wait for. So stay tuned for that. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys when I'm heading to Nashville.